If you want to merge lots of smaller areas into one big area, here's how you can do it. I'm looking at the San Francisco Bay area and the boundaries I have now are counties. If I take the select tool and select the nine counties in the Bay area, I can then dissolve it into one big shape. Easiest way to do it is to make sure you've got the processing toolbox turned on. And I just click the cog button and it appears. Then I type in dissolve and I can double click the tool. It's also available via the vector menu and geoprocessing tools, but I find it easier just to search for it. I'll double click on it. I make sure my input layer is the layer with the counties in it. I'm going to tick selected features only, and I'm just going to dissolve the shapes. You could choose to dissolve it based on an individual column, but I'm not going to do that. And then in this case, I'm going to just dissolve it without saving the file. If you want to save the file, you can click the browse button, save to shape file or save to geo package. I'll just create a temporary layer for now. I'll hit run and then close. And what we have as a result is a single polygon, which shows us the nine counties that we selected. I'll change the symbology so we can see that. Now I'll turn selection off turn on the OpenStreetMap layer. And if we wanted to from here, I could do one more thing. I could double click the dissolved layer, change the symbology to inverted polygons, change the fill and outline to black. And I'll just change the opacity down to a lower number and drag and drop it to the stroke color and click apply and then OK. So I went from a US counties file, I selected the nine Bay Area counties, I then dissolved them, created this shape which shows us the Bay Area counties, and then I've just used an inverted polygon. And that's how you can quickly go from lots of small areas to one big one based on a selection.